Greetings, knowledge seekers. The Force is with you. My name is Priyon Joni, and today I'm excited to show you the brand new Bluetooth controlled lightsaber electronics core, the Xeno 3. Basically, this custom lightsaber electronics core lets you cycle through all of your saber controls directly from the Saber app on iOS and Android. I recently bought one and installed it on my white Damien Saber hilt, which originally came as a base lit Saber. Now it's a Pixel Saber with Bluetooth control. Speaking of base lit, Xeno 3 actually comes in two flavors. The one I have is the Xeno 3 Pixel Core 1.0 that I purchased for $100 from Dark Wolf Sabers. Xeno 3 is also available in base lit RGB. And at the time of this video, I saw it listed on Dark Wolf for $75. So if you have a preference between Pixel Sabers and base lit, you have choices. There's also two options for your charging port. The core option that I got was USB Type-C because it said that the rounded ports were sold out. Though most of my lightsabers have round charging ports, I don't regret getting the Xeno 3 in USB Type-C and I'll tell you why. The reason is because a core with a Type-C port can fit in any compatible hilt with a hole for a rounded port, but you can't do it the other way around. You can't take a board with a rounded port and fit it on a hilt with USB Type-C. And while the Type-C board can operate without it, you can get a Type-C adapter from Vire Sabers to fill the open space. So far, from what I know, the Xeno 3 is compatible with most LGT sabers and fall under the variable hilt component category. So basically, most of the hilts that you already see on Dark Wolf sabers and other LGT resellers. For those of you who don't know, LGT is a saber manufacturer and supplier that distributes through different resellers like Dark Wolf and Vire, and VHC is pretty much all their lightsabers with interchangeable parts. I have four LGT lightsabers, three of which, these three right here, are VHC. This Damien Saber hilt I have here is an LGT VHC hilt and happens to be routed for a USB Type-C port, making the fitment perfect. One really important thing to note is that I was able to install the core into two of my three LGT VHC hilts I have. I was able to put it in my Dark Wolf Bloodfang hilt with no issue. However, I could not put it in my Dark Wolf loop and rose hilt. The reason is because the USB type C version does not have the front pillar screws and require you to use a longer back screw to raise the saber switch towards the outside. This specific saber does not have the hole for that screw. If you're a DIYer, you'll have to drill a hole exactly where that screw is because what it'll do is it'll push the buttons up. If you have a hilt without that screw, it's better to use the rounded port. Also, Dark Wolf notes that the Xeno 3 Saber cores do not fit Ultra Sabers without additional modifications. Check their product page for all the installation notes. Now, the USB Type-C cores for both Pixel and Baselit have this nice backlit button that's inspired by the Imperial Insignia. And it just adds to this hilt's Stormtrooper look, which is another reason why I decided to install it into this hilt. Now, let's get into the fun part and start using the app. If you're familiar with custom third-party lightsabers, they are capable of doing much more than the officially licensed ones from Disney and Hasbro. You can change the color, the sound fonts, blade style, ignition, and all other sorts of other settings. But the biggest challenge is you have to do it through one single button. For example, to do volume control, the blade has to be off and you do hold one blink. Now it's mute, let's set it to Volume high, volume low. And then if you want to change the sound font, it's four blinks. One, two, three, four. And your controls are totally different from when the blade is on for color, lockup, and clash. So one blink, lockup, two blinks to change the color. So sometimes it takes a really long time just to change one small little thing. Now the Saber app, it lets you control all of this from your mobile device. With the app on, it pairs easily with one click. Well, two clicks, confirm. App connected. It'll say app connected. 
You can turn the blade on or off. You can even cycle through different settings you normally can't do with the blade on, including sound fonts and blade styles. You can even go on the color palette and change your color using this color palette <laughs> and you can control it granularly with the specific RGB values. Now let's open this hilt up and show you the inside core. So I'm gonna pull out the sleeve just to show you something. So if you're installing this for the first time, you might notice this. You might come across this issue where you take the grip on your hilt and then you slide it in and it stops. What's stopping you is this plastic piece right over here. It's just the piece that maintains the friction when you're sliding it in. All you have to do to close it is to push down on it just by a little bit and then it'll be out of the way and you can slip the grip on. So I'm gonna remove the blade. Now I'm going to remove the mounting screw, which is just one screw, the one closer to the battery. And then the second screw, the one away from the battery, is the one that pushes the button and the port towards the outside because with this screw coming out, you'll notice that the button starts easily falling inside now basically you just have to push the button in and you can slide that right out. Now one of the things you're going to notice right away with a Xeno 3 is that it's an inch shorter than a standard baselet or the previous Xeno Pixel version 2 or the Profis. It's a whole inch shorter. Note that this is only the case on the Pixel version. The Xeno 3 baselet is still this longer length but there is an advantage to the shorter length of this core body because it seats the blade farther inward, making it more secure. I get no wobbling around when I'm spinning the blade. Now the Xeno 3, it comes pre-installed with 34 sound fonts, but it also includes a micro SD card slot. The included 16 gigabyte SD card is for adding new sound fonts, changing configuration settings that you can't control from the lightsaber or the app, as well as using it to update the firmware of the board. Let me know in the comments below if you want a deep dive on using the SD card. For a Xeno, it's generally easy to change your sound fonts. While Profi boards are known to have the most customization, you'll find that almost every tutorial on programming one is 30 minutes to an hour long or longer because they're not made to be easy. Now what's great about the SD card slot on the Xeno 3 is that it's reinforced so the card doesn't accidentally slip off. To remove the card, you take this metal piece, just pull it by a little bit, and it should be able to lift up, and you can just pull the card out. Don't try to slide it because you could break it. The whole point of this is so that sliding is not necessary. The whole point of this mechanism is so you don't need to slide it. So last year, there was a time I dropped this specific saber hilt. In fact, there's some scratches here that show that. And I dropped it pommel first on concrete. It didn't do much more than scratch the hilt, but the sound stopped working in that moment. I thought I broke the saber, but it was just the SD card slipping off on impact. This new SD card slot is more secure and it keeps it staying in place. Now the speaker on it is very loud. It's not the deepest sounding tone I've heard on other Sabres, but that might be more of the sound font, if anything. But it sounds really good, and it's great that you have granular control of the volume in the app. Now my only complaint is after turning the Sabre off and then back on, not from standby, but from complete off, the default volume is set at 100%. I might just need to go in the config file on the SD card and change it to 20. I'm sure there's an option in there if it's anything like the previous Xeno Pixel. But at 100, it's just so darn loud. And you have to be careful when the core is exposed like this, because when it's set at 100, it's ear piercing loud. Now, another awesome thing about the Xeno 3 is that it has an illuminated PBC board 
for the pixel end. And because it is a shorter blade, that means a blade plug will actually fit in there much closer to the inside. And when you turn it on, you have a more realistic looking emitter. Now it's not super bright where you can use it as a base lit, but it's a really nice emitter where you can see the detail. Let's see if we can get this close to the camera. Right there. And I have it in rainbow blade mode so that that way you can see it in multiple colors. So there you have it, the Xeno 3 Pixel Core 1.0, which lets you convert your custom lightsaber to have Bluetooth control. It's like using the Force, but with an app. Check out more lightsaber and Star Wars related content on this playlist right here, and we'll see you in the next video. And don't forget, the app is with you always. I mean, the Force. The Force is with you always. Pray on your knee. May the Force be with you.